Good morning. It is 5 something a.m. I've had four shots of espresso and thought, why not shoot a video? So, my week has been very eventful. I finally finished my custom water loop, uh, which involved drilling holes into the floor and uh, putting a radiator in a basement and hooking up the brand new water block. The water block, which was custom made for this motherboard in order to allow me to fit the last stick of RAM, which it couldn't, so I had to modify it. <laughs> Once that was done and everything was leak tested, I went ahead and overclocked the RAM, which overclocking 256 gigs of RAM is not fun at all. After about two days of overclocking, I finally managed to get it somewhat stable at 3600 megahertz. So why don't we look at the results? So as we can see here, uh, U8 is the clear winner here uh, because at U7 it actually crashes at the at the very beginning of P2, and that's why the time for for the P1 is so much longer because it was on the verge of crashing there. And we have a very 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 good result at 871 seconds total time per plot, and this once again is RAM only both for T1 and T2. Moving on, I tested the RAM versus the hard drives versus the NVMe as T1. And, well, they're pretty much the same. Uh, the results do differ with a few seconds here and there, but the thing is, I didn't have a chance to run that many tests and they might be I, almost identical. A few seconds here and there won't matter. So why are the hard drive and the NVMe results so great? Well simply because I was able to do U7 because I had more RAM. And looking at the plots per day, we see that the difference isn't that great. Uh, we're talking about three plots per day between the NVMe and the RAM. Essentially, once once you've done enough tests, they're probably going to come out roughly the same. So the difference between the RAM and the other ones here is that you actually can't get these results in series because, well, you would need more RAM. Because the plot that you just finished is still in RAM, so you would actually need an extra 108 gigs of RAM in order to run this in series. So that means you actually need 384 gigs, which means you would need a different system, which means you would need essentially so-called server grade RAM, uh, which is slower. Now that type of RAM does come in 3200 megahertz, but for some reason I was unable to clock my RAM at 3200, despite the fact that I was able to clock it at 3600. So I went ahead and tested, tested the RAM at 2666 because there is RAM that actually is that speed. So by doing that, we end up with a RAM only time for 991 seconds. And the NVMe and, and uh, hard drives are actually even slower at that speed. So I decided to test everything out without the RAM with an NVMe as T2. And well, it's very similar, but if we were to ignore the RAM, that means we could actually increase the speeds again because we would have less RAM. So that would give us roughly 890 seconds, which actually takes us back roughly to where we were to begin with, which is about 97 plots per day. So is it worth it spending two grand on RAM? No, definitely not. Um, if you really wanted to, you could get 192 gigs of RAM and do uh, RAM as T2, that way you would spare NVMEs, or you could just buy a bunch of NVMEs and just shred them, and it's still going to be cheaper than buying all the RAM. Or you could just try to find an alternative to the NVME, which I plan on trying to do the next week, actually. So, um, if you're interested in finding an alternative to NVME with me, just stay tuned.